Hello once again, friends. Great to be with you. Pastor Pete here, and it is time for coffee once again. And uh, even as we're beginning, uh, today, by the way, is the 27th of November, 2024. It's uh, the day before Thanksgiving. So I think today we're going to have a discussion about, um, you know, maybe give you a setup for how you can be God's person on Thanksgiving in every situation that you're in. We begin with, get your coffee out, open up your Bibles to Colossians 3, the letter to the church in Colossae from Paul, the Colossians, and uh, chapter 3, verse 12. But I want to just uh, say hello to my friend Diane, my cousin, who lives up in Canada, who sent me this beautiful coffee mug, and I uh, just want to give her a shout out and say greetings. So, okay, Colossians 3, verse 12. Let me just read this to you, and uh, and I just encourage you to you know look this up for yourself, and uh, this would be a great one to have really in mind as you're going through this Thanksgiving and Christmas holiday time. Uh, it talks about thankfulness for sure, and uh, mainly though it talks about how we are to live together since we are God's people. So here's what it says: Put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these things, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. And be thankful let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. What a beautiful passage. And, and I think you could just take that and, and meditate on it, repeat it to yourself. But let me just give you the, you know, just take you right down through the outline. There's a first part of this is who you are. And, I, and it's important to remember this. If you remember these things, I think the other things will flow out. The other part of it that we'll get to in a moment is what you are to do or who you are to be. So first of all, who you are, you're chosen. You are chosen, you are holy, and you are beloved. You are these things to God and you are these things through Christ, chosen, holy, and beloved. Then how do we live that out? The scriptures tell us clearly, be compassionate, kind, humble, meek, patient, forgiving. And then scripture says, bind it together with love. Take all of those things and bind them together. Love is the thing that holds it all together. And I think this is so significant because, you know, if you're trying to do these things without love, you probably find that you could be kind and compassionate, but eventually it'll run out or your humility will wear off. And so you'll find yourself being inconsistent. But if love is what holds it all together, you'll find yourself consistently portraying all these qualities. Scripture goes on to say, Paul goes on to say, be thankful and be at peace, and and be one who is willing to teach and encourage. And I would also say be willing to be taught and encouraged. It says the word admonish. Well, admo to admonish means to be have something pointed out to which if you were to adopt that, you would be improving. So be able to be taught and to be a teacher both. Be worshipful. And finally, give thanks to God through Jesus. Let's finish it with that last the last part of the verse is actually more like a prayer. Whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. I would just say by the power of this God's Spirit living in you and through you, I pray that that's what your Thanksgiving will look like. When you come back from Thanksgiving, you'll be able to say, Pastor Pete, we did all those things in Colossians, and what a wonderful time we had blessing each other and blessing God. God bless you, friends, in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen.